they have to know what's going on because it's hard for them to see what's going on. So it just auto clears. If there was a frisbee stuck in there and the door was trying to go and uh -huh. go and go. Uh -huh. Does that happen yet? Yeah. Regretfully, Well, that's just part of it. And we didn't have this roller here before. We just put this in yesterday, last night. And so. Before frisbee tended to override this some because if it, if, you, if the frisbee kept going up upside down. upside down only upside down frisbees then it would slowly get on top right of the now. solenoid because there was nothing holding the frisbee down and push the solenoid down and then it get wedged in here and jam but now with that we have this here it seems to be now that we have this here though it seems to have solved the problem but the other problem that we have is. Right here, if we're sometimes if we're sending big discs back down, the frisbee will lift up and go over that roller instead of under. And then the other thing is that we have a dead zone right here sometimes where you just can't get enough grip on the frisbee to keep drawing it up. And so right now what we're doing is just making sure the rollers are clean before each match, using wet naps or you know just some wet nap type things. But in between this tournament and the next tournament. We're going to make more of these and then put another one down there. So I'm going to move this one up some and put the other one right there. But the problem is we only have a half a pound. We only have a half a what? Half a pound left. Of weight. So they can add to the robot. I think that's more than a pound, so we'll have to figure out. I don't know, maybe we can take these home and drill holes in them. Fine. Probably I'll just have to drink.